Navy play an important role in enforcing the rule of law beyond its territorial water to combat legal migration, legal fishing, environmental pollution, and drug trafficking. The Gambian Navy on Friday, 28 October 2022, held a graduation set 60 Navy intakes at the Navy headquarters in Banjul. The training was conducted by the British International Defence Training Team, which lasted for two weeks. The graduation ceremony was attended by the senior staff of Gambia Armed Forces and the British High Commissioner in the Gambia. Speaking at the event, His Excellency, the British High Commissioner to the Gambia, Mr. David Belgos, has this to say. Uh, we share our experience and expertise, and I know the team here today has found their engagement with this group very rewarding and you know you've 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 looked at some very interesting issues um, and you've you, you've worked together on uh, on the training and the work you're doing and it's been mentioned already um, the work you're doing is incredibly important protecting the Gambia's coast and maritime resources especially fisheries when fishing grounds are illegally overexploited, it has a considerable impact. Vast numbers of people around the world rely on the sea. Officer of the Gambia Navy Commandant speak on behalf of his fellow trainees has this to say. I would like to thank the instructors from the Royal Navy International Training Team for empowering us with the requisite knowledge that will help carry out our daily activities and duties in our various areas of responsibility as ratings. My sincere thanks and appreciation goes to the British government, who is the co-sponsor of this vital cause. Furthermore, our gratitude goes to the Gambia Armed Forces Command for their foresight in facilitating the possibility of this wonderful cause, which will go a long way in enhancing our capabilities as crew on board. The representative of Chief of Defence Staff, General Usman Gomez, praised the Royal Navy for their support. I wish to seize this opportunity to express our profound thanks and appreciation to you and your entire government, and through you to the friendly people of the United Kingdom for the numerous support you continue to offer to the Gambia Armed Forces. And to you, the course participants, I urge you to share the knowledge gained here with your colleagues who we are not privileged to join the training. As the guy who gave the vote of thanks said, to whom much is given, much is expected from you. So you are expected to impact, you are expected to impact that knowledge to those who are not privileged to join you. As a military institution, the Gambian Navy is guided by an organization structure with, which entails various appointments and rank structure. For N24 News, I am Amicham.